Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. Thanks for joining me today. I have another one page wonder for us. So we're gonna make a, I haven't really named this, but a tag and it has a little closure on it. And um, inside there's a pocket and some mini tags, okay? And this is made just with a standard piece of like eight and a half by 11 or A4 paper. And I'll give you the measurements. I'll put all the measurements in the description for you. Um, this doesn't wanna go back through. Um, what you're gonna need um, and how you're gonna need to cut up your paper, okay? So I made this one, of course, because the whole point of this series is doing projects with one piece of paper, right? Um, but I started thinking, I just really messed up my piece of twine. Um, I started thinking that if you did this sort of more like a mass make and did multiples, you could then coordinate um, your papers or mix and match your papers so that um, you have a little more contrast, even though I love how this one turned out. And by the way, the papers I am using are by Pink Monarch Prints, and this was their May subscription kit. And... Um, it's still available if, if you like these papers on in their Etsy shop. So um, feel free if you wanna have papers that look like these or just use whatever you have on hand. And you could definitely use scrapbook paper as well um, and just cut it to the measurements I'm gonna give you. Now, the original one, I, I'm gonna give you the measurements for the original one and then I decided I'm gonna make one where the tag's a little bit taller too, just just to show you a different size as well. So, um, when you're cutting up your paper, you're going to need to start with, for this size, you're gonna have a piece that is three inches by five and a half. And then this one, this is the tag, and it is three inches by five. So that's for this size. And then you'll also need a piece that is three inches by two and a half. There's a lot of three inches in this one. And then three inches by one and a half, two of those. And then um, to make this little piece here to reinforce, um, these are one and a half inches. Well, they're supposed to be one and a half inches, but I did not cut these to one and a half, but one and a half by three quarters. So let me just chop these down. Um, one and a half. Let's see if I can see today. Okay, so you need two pieces like that. Now, you do have some pieces left over um, from this project. It doesn't use the entire piece of paper. You know, you do end up with a few little pieces. So, um, you can use that for something else. You can use it to decorate. There's actually enough that if you want to make more than two little tags, you could definitely do that. You could put multiple tags in there. Okay, so again, I will have the measurements for you in the description. The only thing I changed on this one is I decided I wanted to make a, a little bit taller tag. So this one is three by six instead of um, three by five. Everything else is the same. So when you've got your piece of paper in front of you, I encourage you to cut it into um, three strips that are three inches wide, and then you'll be able to cut all of these pieces out easily from there. Okay? All right. And I realized I did the same thing here, didn't I? <laughs> For my little, um, my little tabs, I cut them... Um, two and a half instead of one and a half. So there's a one and a half and a one and a half. That way when I get to that point, I will have these correct. All right, so this is enough paper to make two tags, um, but I hadn't decided which one I wanted to do on camera, but since I'm gonna do the little bit taller one, we'll use this paper. Okay, so the first thing you do is you take your piece that is three inches by five and a half, and this is, the only scoring we're gonna do. We are gonna score at one and one quarter inches. I'm just gonna use my ruler today and my bone folder, and I'm using my grid to tell me that's one and one quarter inches um, 
from there. And then the next place I'm going to score is um, four, a little more than four and a quarter. One, two, three, four, a quarter, and come over just a little bit more and score it. Okay, so it's pretty easy. And then you're going to fold these over. And this is what is going to make your um, little closure for your tag. Okay? Now, I decided on mine to round all the corners. I like how that looks. That's optional. Oops, it's the wrong punch, Pam. You could um, angle them. You know, there's like all kinds of things you could do. But I am going to round mine because I like how that looked. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. And I'm also gonna go ahead and round the corners on my tag. And I think with the tag being a little bit bigger, um, we might even be able to decorate the top or put a little little topper on there too. Now, I don't, I don't, suggest you guys write on yours. I did that for the video to help me remember my measurements. Um, but you, and it's in pencil. I can erase it later if I want to do something with this one. So this is going to fit on there. So do just make sure everything fits nicely. And um, I haven't inked yet. So I'm going to real quick add a little bit of ink and that will help this piece stand out a little bit more. Just like this and let's see and the tag of course can be inked as well that looks good let me show you what I was talking about though is if I do want to mix and match the papers you start to have some contrast and that might not be a bad thing so that's up to you if you want to use one piece of paper and be you know, pure one page wonder, or if you want to make two at one time and have some contrast on your project. And we will do a little bit of decorating, so that will also um, help. And this this paper doesn't really have um, an orientation. It's collaged, so I can turn these any way I want. Okay, we are going to make the little... Um, the little tabs that we then put the eyelets on to thread our string or ribbon um, through. So I just folded the pieces that are one and a half inches by three quarter inches in half. I am going to ink them and I am using my walnut stain. And get those inked up. And I do want to see how they look to decide which one I want to put on each side. So I kind of like having that yellow there. This one has something that looks a little different um, with a little bit darker font. I'm just eyeballing the middle here so that um, they're, let's see where they are. Um, again, this is three inches, so the center of the little tab is right at one and a half, okay? But again, I'm just eyeballing it, and I'm okay with that. So, I'm going to hold it nice and sturdy with my finger, and we're going to glue it down, and then open it up and glue it down on this side, too. That wiggled some. All right, I think I'm not centered anymore. I'm a little up, but it looks okay. Not worried. <laughs> but I do want these to match as closely as possible. That's why I am holding it this way so that I can see that they're even. And then we are going to set an eyelet in there. And um, I used the little tiny eyelets on this one. This is large enough that you could go up a size, but that's what I have out, so that's what we're gonna use today. And it did, like I said, for the thickness of the twine I used, it was messing with my twine just a little bit. But we're gonna use these little tiny ones. And I'm gonna use this to set my eyelets because my crocodile is still acting up. All right, I want to punch a hole close to the center as I can. 
Again, I'm eyeballing. You could measure and mark it <laughs> if you want to be super precise. So on this one, I used a black eyelet. Let's see what I have. Um, I think I'm going to go with black again. I liked how it made it, how it popped out a little bit, the color. And let me set this really quick. I don't even know if they still make these. Um, this was kind of the rage in my scrapbooking days um, because you didn't have to hammer, so it was quiet. And before crocodiles, I think, came out. But again, my crocodile sadly has really been, even my big bite one has been acting up a little bit. It's probably me, user error, but those look nice and they're nice and flat. Okay, so that's that piece. And again, you can add a lot of ink, we can decorate it. I have some little bits from the kit um, to, to add on and to decorate if I want to. Now, for the journal card, if you want to, you can ink yours like I'm doing. I am making the pocket out of the piece that is um, three by two and a half. And I hate that I'm having to cover up some of these pieces. Maybe I can put the pocket down a little bit on this one and we can keep the postage marks um, because I really like that. I am going to do um, a, use a circle punch to do a notch to show that it's a pocket and this is a one and a quarter inch punch. You can use whatever size you want or you have on hand. And we're just gonna add the pocket. So I'm doing this, let's um, chat a little bit. So I think I told you guys my daughter, who graduated from college, she's been on the job market and she has a pretty big interview coming up this week. So if you were watching and listening and you have a moment, say a quick prayer, if that's something you do, um, that this goes well for her. She's pretty excited. She's interviewed twice with this company virtually, and now she's going in person. So um, we're a little excited and, and happy for her um, and hoping that everything works out really well. <laughs> and I have confidence it will. She's, she's a smart smart kid. Okay, I'm going to turn these two pieces, these are the three by one and a half into tags. And because they are tiny, instead of using this that has, it's for larger tags, I'm just going to hold it over and chomp off the corners. I think that looks cute. And then I'm going to use this one to help me chop the corners of the other tag. So who knows after the interview how long it'll take for her to find out if they actually um, are going to hire her. But I, I, I think it's looking good. And I know she was encouraged after, um, you know, it's been a little discouraging out there. And she very much wants to be in, um, she, she was a photography major in college. So she went to art school and she's very talented and she wants to stay in the like art, um, the photo publishing kind of world or in, um, now it's just decorating guys. So I'm going to start decorating, but in the, um, like archival area, that kind of thing. And so she, uh, it, there are jobs, which is good. I mean, there, there really are jobs in, in this world, but they're very competitive and there's not very many of them. She's also been applying at like some different museums and different things. And I know something is going to turn up and work out for her. I have no doubt, but sometimes it's always not on our time frame or the time frame we think um, would be ideal. So um, my girl's been a little frustrated and I don't blame her, but she's going to be okay. I'm staying positive. And we also um, celebrated our oldest 28th birthday, which I can't believe that um, he is 28. So we've had all kinds of fun family things going on lately. And in fact, I think um, my husband's three kids are going to all be here to have dinner with us um, this evening, which is always fun too. 
So lots happening. My son and his girlfriend, my son has to work this weekend. Um, and he's actually considering a job change and is going to be applying for some new positions. And so think about him too as he decides what kind of career shift he wants to make. All kinds of big things happening when these kids get big. <laughs> get bigger. Okay, so I'm decorating the outside of my little closure. I put a little tag on the pocket. I'm adding a couple of things. Um, just randomly picking up some of the little bits um, of ephemera, little labels and things that came with this kit. And it definitely helps, I think, to break up some of the, um, you know, just, just that everything is the kind of the same shades because I use the same piece of paper. But I do like that. It's You could, again, go through if you have um, a bunch of scrapbook paper you want to use up and then you could, you could make these and then go back and decorate them to coordinate with journals that you have um, coming up. I think that would be fun, too. All right. So I want to put some ribbon or something and I didn't get anything out but I think I'm going to stay kind of neutral with my little toppers on these little tags so we're just going to use a little piece of this um yeah that'll look cute of the sari silk and I'm just going to staple it on um and I've, I mentioned this usually in my videos, if you see something that I'm using, a supply or a tool, I do have um, an Amazon storefront and I get a few pennies when people order, which is helpful. Um, I'm supposed to disclose that, that, that I do earn a very small commission, but um, I don't know if I'm supposed to say very small, I earn a commission. Um, but if you just want some ideas or if you need some supplies or some tools, you're welcome to go look at that. That's linked in the description of the video as well. I think I'm going to add something else to this tag just so that it has a little more contrast out of the, um, when it's hanging out of the, oops, hanging out of the pocket. I'm going to fold this one around. I think that'll look cute and add another color. Yeah. I'm just going to pop it there and glue it on. So um, if you guys ever do go read the descriptions, there's always, um, you know, here's all my links. So if you want to follow me on social media, you can. And then um, I link to that Amazon storefront. And sometimes if I'm using different paper kits, like I'll link to this um, kit or to the Pink Monarch Etsy store for you guys. Um to make it a little easier to find what I'm using, just in case. So I am going to add a ribbon or something here. But this is where I was also thinking, because it's a little bit larger, we could add a little topper or something um, to this tag. And I'm thinking I am going to offset this and then trim it um, so it's round like the corner is. And then maybe even add a ribbon up here just to make this one a little different. So if you decide to make some of these, again, cha change it up if you want to. Um, now that you have the idea, and I know everybody kind of likes having the measurements so that you can replicate, which is great, but this one lends itself to be customized a little bit. Um, so feel free to do that. Okay. And I like the shorter one that I made, but I like this tall one too. I'm going to put the ribbon in the back. There we go. And I'll go through and erase all my measurements later. Okay, so put the little tiny ones back in here. And like I said, if you want more than two, there is enough um, of the paper that you can do that. Oops, this is upside down because I put that one on there. I'm going to see if I can get this to thread through. I did the other piece about 10 inches, and it was a little bit short for the bow I was tying. So I'm I did this one 12 inches, and let's see if we like that better, the length of the ribbon for this one. All right, and I could have picked a different ribbon 
for some contrast, but I didn't, so let's just stay with it. <laughs> Cute. I really like it. I might have liked this one to be a different color, like maybe that blue would have been cute, but it's okay. Let me show you what we made. And I can't wait to make the one using this paper because I think it's gonna look really, really pretty too. So this was my original, let me tie it back up. And I'm gonna rethink probably this piece of twine, maybe go with one slightly thinner so it won't fray when I pull it through those eyelets, but there, it looks okay. There we go, I have two tags. So if you want to, leave me a comment, tell me which one you like better. Do you like the one that's taller? This one's three inches by six, and this is a three by five. I think they both are nice. So maybe make a variety, right? And that way, you know, they, they could kind of be a set. <laughs> we could even do one a little bit taller. So anyway, I hope you like it. If you haven't already, I hope you will subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking about. And um, thanks for really joining me in this series. It's been super fun um, reading your comments and what you like about what I've been making. So thank you guys. Have a great one until next time.